Hello guys, my name is Super Margin, and it's time for my first video where I actually talk and not just post random memes from videos no one's heard of. So yeah, pretty much I'm going to be analysing some of the kind of stupid comments I've seen on Dragon, on Dragon Ball forums, and a lot of these are going to be ones that no sane person could possibly think are okay. Sir, so, because they're just so bad. And so we're going to start with this relatively tame one. And I'm not any usernames, guys. Because some of these guys deserve to feel the pain. Why is everyone calling it the Room of Spirit and Time? Is it only because of Dragon Ball Z abridged? This guy has never... Look... I guess maybe I shouldn't fault him for just never having heard the term Room of Spirit and Time before, but actually I think I can, because that means that he has never watched a sub, nor, actually, that also means that he has never read the manga, because they call it the Chamber of Spirit and Time in the manga, I'm pretty sure. So he's never watched a sub or read the manga, which, for a Dragon Ball fan, I know that's true for a lot of people, but at the same time, though, it's not really something you want to advertise. So let's move on to the next one. This one is pretty tame. I just thought it was kind of funny. And we go to this guy on DB Zeta saying that Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is stronger than Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. <laughs> Somehow. Maybe he's trying to make a point that the SSJ acronym is better than the SSJIN acronym, because that's the only difference I can see between these two. So, yeah, that doesn't really make any sense. Also, the fact that, well, he didn't... I'm not sure he cre... I don't think he created this thread, but... The thread he's posting on is itself kind of stupid, if you can see... Above his use... right above his username, what it says. So, yeah... I'm gonna go on to the next one now. So this guy was at th this guy posted on a thread about the strongest villain Kaioshin could beat, East Kaioshin. Imperfect Cell post abortion, post absorption, not abortion. What? What? Post absorption is about where I draw the line. Maybe semi perfect cell. And this guy, just a little bit later on the same thread, said that. He might not even be as strong as Android 17. <sighs> I don't get how people can think Kaioshin is that weak. Like, I get it. Kaioshin isn't that strong in the grand scheme of things. He's nowhere near someone like Perfect Cell, in my opinion. But... <laughs> I guess these people must buy into the theory that Piccolo bowed out of the, his fight with Kaioshin out of respect, but again, people need to realize that other than Beerus, Beerus is the one exception here. Beerus will occasionally lie about his power level or other people's power levels, but other than him, no one in Dragon Ball actually lies about people's power. They might overestimate their own power or underestimate someone else's, but they don't flat out lie. They honestly think that what they're saying is true. So Piccolo really... I'm 99% certain that Piccolo really did think he was that strong. And that the people who deny it, a lot of them might just be Piccolo fanboys who don't want to accept that Piccolo is pretty much useless in the Buwak. I mean, Piccolo is my favorite character in the series. I'm, I hardly hate Piccolo, but... You just kind of have to accept that he's not that s strong, or at least he wasn't until his random boost in episode 34 of Dragon Ball Super. But, honestly, I think that it's just so stupid that people think Kaioshin is this weak. Because there's nothing to support that. Oh yeah. This guy was actually replying, I got in a little argument with this guy, as you can see, my, he replied to me. And so, I told him, in no uncertain terms, that that Mr. Gohan was more than eight times stronger than Goku. And that even though Janemba was suppressed, I will admit that he was suppressed because he powered up against Gogeta. 
even if that is true, then there is no evidence that he's eight times he's more than eight times stronger than Goku. I thought he would try to deny the fact that Gohan was eight times stronger than Goku, but no. He denies the fact that Janemba isn't eight times stronger than Goku. He said that Janemba played around with Goku and would have killed him in three minutes when Vegeta didn't help him. And he has previous he previously claimed that Janemba was at less than fifty percent of his power. And again there's nothing to corroborate that, but I can't see Gohan less than fifty percent can kill Goku in three minutes. That's your huge problem. That's no, you should be able to. Because if Mr. Gohan is eight times stronger, you seem to at least admit that Mr. Gohan is eight times stronger than Goku. So even if he's at less than 50%, that's still around four times stronger than Goku. So yes, he could easily kill Goku in less than three minutes. There's no evidence that Janemba was suppressed by that much. And honestly, even if he was, Janemba would need to be no stronger than four or five times Goku to be able to duplicate the feats that you think he can do. And honestly, before... I know he dominated the fight with Goku after he made his sword, but... Before he made his sword, his advantage wasn't that huge. I mean, Goku... Pretty much every time Goku hit actually hit him, it did something. It didn't hurt him too bad, but it definitely hurt him. So really, there's no... I really think there's no evidence that Janemba's more than twice as strong as Goku. Maybe three times as strong at absolute max. Worst characters, Teen Gohan, Bardock, Broly is awesome. Enough said. Is Vegeta stronger than Goku when the powers are equal? Now, I admit this is a Dragon Ball Z post on Comic Vine, so I really should expect... Well, nothing. But even for them... Just think about what this is saying for a second. Uh, uh, like, honestly, I think Comic Vine should... Users should just stop trying to discuss Dragon Ball. It's not that they're stupid. It's just that Comic Vine is... Not a Dragon Ball Z forum in the slightest... And it shows. Most of the people there are hardly dumb people, but they seem to know nothing about the series. Stay in DC and Marvel, okay? That's your turf. Base Saiyans are stronger than Piccolo in the Boo Saga. Really? That means that you all Piccolo defeated Android 17, and he trained the Hyperbolic Time Chamber after that. Or the Ross Hour, whatever you want to call it. So, unless you think that he really stopped training, that means you think that the base Saiyans are at least as strong as 17, perhaps significantly stronger. I mean, come on, even I don't think that. God. Speaking of Piccolo, this guy seems to think that the Cell game, that Piccolo was close to perfect Cell during the Cell games. And I can only assume that Piccolo Rossat, the only time where that would be relevant, is during the Cell games. This isn't like Buak Piccolo he's talking about. This is Cell Games Piccolo, who he says is just a hair below Perfect Cell in power. And that the difference between Perfect Cell and Piccolo is far, far less than the difference between Second Grade Super Saiyan Vegeta and Semi Perfect Cell. The difference is really less than. I'm sorry, got a little sidetracked. I had to do something, but pretty much, if you pull out my, I'm gonna pull out my calculator. And so the difference between semi-perfect cell and super, and second grade Super Saiyan Vegeta is about 1.5 times for this guy. If you do in a more exponent, a somewhat more exponential power, pretty much what I'm trying to say is that yes, this is a very reasonable difference for a lot of lists, in my opinion. But the difference between Piccolo and Cell is only 1.14 times. It's only 14% compared to 50% for Cell versus Vegeta. Now, I personally believe that this gap is actually larger than Semi-Perfect Cell and Vegeta, because 
I think I'm, I'm almost certain that Vegeta was more powerful than Piccolo, and all he could say whenever anyone powered up during the Cell games was, I never imagined this kind of power could exist. So, yeah. I think the difference is massive, and that was even before Cell was using anything close to his full power. Kua's official power level is 470 million, I believe. Vegito1089, my favorite power level calculator on the internet, says Android 17 and Android 18 are 420 million and 430 million respectively. Vegeta would get killed. I mean, Freezer. What? Vegeta? Freezer would get killed since he's only 120 million, but I'm willing to bet Kua to could take both androids on and win alone? What? Okay, first of all, unless... First of all, you never... You claim to be using Kua's official power level, so if you're going to use Vegito 1089's power levels for 17 and 18, you should be using Kua's power level. And I really hope that it's lower, because I've heard that Vegito is at least decent. So it's probably lower, but I'm not sure. I haven't actually looked at those lists. But... Apparently, either this guy has a typo of Vegito 108, or this guy's listening to someone who thinks 17 is weaker than 18. Alright, I'm gonna start reading. This is kind of a little comment chain, so, yeah. This is, might be a little hard to read if you haven't really read Wikia that much, but, yeah. Streisart wrote, Well, to be fair, Bardock was a lot more heroic than the average Saiyan. BHOG wrote, Nah, a scene in DBM, not DB. After killing Freezer, Bardock would go to Earth, pick up his son, and kill the Earthlings. Talisman67 wrote, What manga did you read? BHOG wrote, Dragon Ball Multiverse Chapter 21. This. <laughs> I'm s I'm I'm sorry I broke down for a little bit there, but he thinks Dragon Ball Multiverse is canon. He thinks Dragon Ball Multiverse is canon. I'm, I'm I'm sorry, this is too funny. He actually thinks Dragon Ball Multiverse is canon. I mean, the Dragon Ball Wiki is not nearly as bad as it used to be. Pretty much, if you haven't been on Dragon Ball Wiki in a while, a lot of people still cling to outdated notions of what the wiki is like. But they have changed. They now have both anime and manga images for most major characters or transformations. And also, a couple years ago, Wikia made it so that IP addresses, unregistered users, couldn't edit pages on wikis where kids visited often. And let's be honest, Dragon Ball fit into that category, so... That means that the amount of six-year-olds hopping on the wiki for a quick edit to screw up everything up and add fan-made characters has dropped significantly. The amount of edits that are just... Sure, pretty much... Sure, the wiki is still very unprofessional and could generally use some cleaning up, but the amount of flat-out lies on the wiki has decreased significantly. And there's quite a few respectable users there. You won't find me there because I'm registered under a different name, but... I am on the wiki. I'm a fairly frequent contributor on the forums. And the pages a little bit too. So, yeah. This guy also claims that Oob is about 5 during the 6th universe tournaments. But... Yeah. Oh wait, actually he would be... Wait, no, no, actually he wouldn't be, because five years didn't pass in battle of, between Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super anymore. So this guy made another error, but it's not as bad as claiming Multiverse is canon. I mean, Multiverse is one of the few fan fictions I actually like, but... It's written by a couple of random French guys, who I'm not sure even read Japanese. It, it's not official, okay? And yeah, that's unfortunately all the time we have. I can only upload videos that are 15 minutes or less, so yeah. I'm going to see you guys all next time. Hopefully so for some more derpy things, I guess. Derpy posts. See you all next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, I'm asking you for stuff. Don't hate. That's going to be it. See you all next time, babies.